Yo, before this video starts, I wanted to go ahead and thank you guys for the tremendous support on my last video. We got a quarter of a million views, which is honestly insane for my channel. So thank you guys for that. I also just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys that if you are going to watch this video and give your opinion in the comments, that I highly recommend for you to watch the entire video because there are a lot of different sections that I cover. So yeah, just before commenting, make sure you've watched the entire video and have the knowledge of the entire video and just try and take the video for what it is. Other than that, thank you for clicking. Enjoy. Alright guys, so it's came to my attention that Call Me Carson has been quite silent when it comes to this whole entire situation, and I've wanted to make a video about his reply or his apology or whatever it's gonna be. Like he took the statement Bravo 6 going dark way too seriously. He has been so silent aside from the Discord screenshots that we got. Like if I'm not mistaken, he hasn't said anything on YouTube, anything on Twitter, nothing. Like at this point, if I don't think he comes out with like an apology or a reply sometime soon, then I, I think his channel is doomed and his career is doomed. I mean, if we look at Mini Lad, bro, he took ages and I mean ages to come out with an apology and his apology was absolutely terrible and now his career is just over honestly like you won't see one YouTube video without people just hating on him in the comments which don't get me wrong it's honestly deserved what he did was actually pedophilia and I'm talking about many lad of course not Carson but what we got to realize about the call me Carson situation is that 17 to 19 is not a giant age gap and depending on the state that you live in it could be perfectly legal but the thing that made it illegal is that they exchanged nudes which meant that he had possession of CP and honestly some of these people are blowing it way out of proportion. It's like, dude, since I'm currently in high school right now, I see it all the time where juniors will be dating people who are like 19 or freshmen to seniors, freshmen to juniors, you know, you get the idea. But what I want you guys to understand is that it's not the it's not the problem of talking to a 17 year old. That was perfectly legal. The problem was is that they exchanged nudes. He was in possession of CP. And I don't think I have to be the one to tell you that it's illegal. It is illegal to be in possession of CP. But one thing that I don't understand is that Call Me Carson is being terribly silent about this, which is genuinely scary because we all know that Call Me Carson does not have the best mental state or mental health. We saw this in early 2020 with the whole Katarina situation, but I'm dead serious. When I say that this entire situation has been blown out of proportion, it really puts him in a spot to where he could get very depressed and very suicidal, which is not a good thing by any means. I mean, honestly, we saw the same thing with a YouTuber known as Etika. His mental health was not the best and he just went downhill being like arrested a few times. Now, I didn't really look into the whole Etika situation too much, so I don't know the most about it, but it was something along the lines about him getting arrested and it got out into the media about him getting arrested and he had poor mental health so it be he became very suicidal and eventually they found a body and basically this was a huge blow to the community and it really made people think about their actions and how their words could affect someone else so of course i don't want to see the same thing happen with carson because you know people make mistakes yeah he traded nudes with a minor but she was 17 she had the mind of an adult but in my opinion no one deserves to have as much hate as carson has gotten but either way i hate to see him go silent because it's slowly just killing his YouTube and killing his career. And of course, we could try and look at it from a perspective that he has a lawyer and he's legally not allowed to come out about it. But I guess that's a valid excuse and I can understand that. Now, even if that situation is a reality, then I still feel like he should come out on Twitter and just say, hey, I'm not legally allowed to talk about this. Because it's kind of leaving the people who want to support him and want to be on his side in the dark and they don't really have anything to defend him with. But either way, he definitely should come out and say something before it's too late. So recently, I saw a video by It's I Jazzer and it was posted today. So it was pretty damn recent. But he was taking Call Me Carson's side, which honestly, I don't have a problem with. He's probably more than likely innocent, besides the exchange with nudes, of course. But let me tell you, this man's video was freaking terrible. Not only has he milked this situation for six freaking videos, but he has also used no evidence, at least in the video that I've watched, which is the most recent one. And of course, I have the same views as him. I don't want to see Carson get screwed over this bad. But I also hate to see somebody misinforming somebody about the situation. I try my best to give the most factual evidence and then give my opinion on them. That's why I'm a commentator. That's what I do. But I honestly find it kind of hypocritical how he'll get on to people for misinforming people. For example, the narrator, when he misinforms people all the time, considering his most recent video. And the thing is, is that the narrator's response to the Carson situation was a reliable source, and he said that it wasn't reliable. I mean, multiple people in the comments of the narrator's video were confirming that it was reliable. But I mean, hey guys, It's I Jazzer makes an entire video calling the narrator a liar. And the second he replies, oh yeah, 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 the narrator's attacking me. I'm just gonna call this guy Jazzer, because 
I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say it's I, Jazzer, every single time I'm referring to him. But anyway, Jazzer's most recent video was him rambling on for about 20 minutes how Jay Schlatt should not have gone to Drama Alert when Jay Schlatt did not go to Drama Alert in the first place. The only people as of right now, as I'm recording this video, to go on to Drama Alert and talk about Carson was Travis and Noah. So this guy's entire 20 minute video was just debunked by the fact that he misinformed people about Jay Schlatt, which is honestly kind of strange because, you know, he was informing people about the misinformation of Call Me Carson. So you're probably like, XC, where does this come into play from what I was talking about earlier? Well, not only does this guy leave out the tweet by Sam, also known as Mini Borb, but he also just misinformed everybody about Jay Schlatt. And the fact that Jazzer is advertising that Carson is innocent and then he makes an entire video full of misinformation gives the illusion that Call Me Carson is not innocent. I mean, take it like this. If you were watching this guy's YouTube channel and you saw, oh yeah, Carson is innocent, and then you watch the video and he just completely misinformed everybody about Jay Schlatt, he would not be a reliable source. So even though Carson is mostly innocent, aside from the exchange of nudes from a minor, it would still hurt Carson's picture even more than it already is, considering this guy defending him is misinforming everybody. So yeah, honestly, when it comes to me, I'm kind of watching the situation from afar. I'm not really trying to pick sides until Carson comes out with a response. But what I can already say is that the misinformation and just how blown out of proportion the situation is, is honestly insane. 17 to 19 is not a big age gap by any means, and he did not groom her because he did not manipulate her to the point to where they met in person to do sexual things. Sexting and grooming are two different things. And besides the sexting, I believe that Carson is innocent. So I wanted to go ahead and include a part to where I replied to everybody getting mad at me for me, I guess, victim blaming the girl for not blocking Carson. Of course, I was not trying to victim blame. I was only trying to see the situation from both sides, but I'll just go ahead and read out my comment. And I quote, so a bunch of you guys are getting on to me about me, quote unquote, victim blaming her for about two seconds of the entire video. Now, I just wanted to get out of the way. In no way am I trying to put the blame on her. The only thing I was trying to account for is that she was going along with the text messages. In no way did she acknowledge that she was uncomfortable. She even agreed to him on some of the questionable things he said. I'm not trying to blame her. I'm only trying to figure out why it would be a problem now if it wasn't two years ago. Of course, no hate towards anyone. I was purely trying to inform with this video and give my opinion on these recent events not to spread hate or cause more drama. And then someone replied with, and I quote, I understand your point, but you also gotta remember that Carson was such a big person on the internet. It's hard to get yourself out of something like that, especially with the fear of what Carson could have done if she blocked him. That's just how I see it, at least. And I replied to that with, that's very understandable. I could totally see where you're coming from, but I just feel like Carson wouldn't have done anything if something wasn't happened, like Sam blocking him. That's because he would pretty much expose himself if he was to come out about it, if you get what I mean. Everything would come out about him being a quote unquote groomer, but instead of Sam exposing him, it would be himself. So the same scenario we're living through right now will be playing out the same way except for the fact that Carson would have exposed himself. Now the same person replied and said that they didn't think I was victim blaming in any way and that they understood my reply. Now I just gotta go ahead and say that I appreciate the non-toxicity in the replies. I would rather have a conversation in the comments where we would discuss our views on the entire subject rather than straight up cursing out each other because that doesn't really help out if we're being honest. But yeah I appreciate the non-toxicity because my statement about that could have been interpreted in any other way. But yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you guys did make it to this part of the video Video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe with post notifications on and also make sure you comment the word poop I know guys very mature of me But yeah, hopefully this entire thing with call me Carson just dies down from this point forward And hopefully his channel survives and he continues posting content that we can enjoy regardless of what has happened But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later Peace.